Hi ladies, it's Melissa Wilkinson, Senior Director with 31 Gifts. And I just did my very first bingo party a couple of weeks ago. And some of the ladies on my team have asked, how do you do one? Now I can tell you, I've taken a couple of bingo trainings and um, truth be told, I really wasn't sure what exactly I was going to do until about 10 minutes before the bingo. So I'm gonna share with you what we did Please feel free to tweak it however you need. You find what works the best for you. So we played four rounds of bingo, and this was a fundraiser. So all of the prizes were donated by myself and two other consultants. Um, so what I'll tell you first are the results. From that fundraiser, we had two girls join our team in less than a week from that. Um, so I'll just share with you that that was an incredible result for us. Um, and we did manage to raise quite a bit of money for the family that we were fundraising for. Okay, so here's what we did. Um, we had, um, we gave out bingo cards, like it cost, we had people pay $12 to pay for a bingo card. They could pay $5 for an extra card per extra card, or they could earn extra cards. Um, so there were different ways that we let them earn extra free bingo cards. And the first one was by bringing um, a covered dish or food to share. And I can tell you, we have more than enough food for everyone, which was amazing. Um, they could also earn a free bingo card by bringing a guest. And ladies, here's what's cool about this. So by having them bring um, something like some sort of food, that helps keep your costs down. Um, so you're not buying food for all of these people. The other thing is by having them bring a guest, that's going to help you get outside of your network. And that is huge. You really want to encourage people to bring people outside of your network. Okay, so I'll share with you. Um, so we did like introduction slash why um, at the very beginning. And then we went right into round one of bingo. And at round one, we made the prize an All About the Benjamins wallet. And we were very purposeful with this because the All About the Benjamins is included in the enrollment kit. So that led to our discussion. And this is what I'll call like our little commercial breaks between rounds. So our first little commercial break was all about the best deal in the catalog. And that is our $99 enrollment kit. And we had the kit on display right in the front of the room where everyone could see exactly what was in it. Um, and we explained the benefits of joining our team and we explained about the sisterhood. Um, and we explained about how we're spoiled rotten as consultants. Um, and we just, you know, shared some great things about that. And then we went into round two. Now, round two, I can't remember what the prize was because it, you know, it was not something that we were purposeful about. And um, we played round two, we gave the prize out, and then right after that, we went into our second commercial break. And that was all about the second best deal in the catalog. And that was booking a party with us. And we talked about every single hostess exclusive. And then we showed the next month customer special. I'm sorry, um, next month hostess special. So that way um, they could see what that hostess special was. So you see, we've been planting some recruiting seeds, some booking seeds, and this is all very important. Um, so, and we shared what the average hostess can get and then what an above average hostess would get with a $1,200 party. So then we went into our third round of bingo. And after that one, we shared our third, um, our third best deal of the day. And for that one, I did give out a zip top organizing utility tote because this took place in September when that was on special. And we showed them how they could save money with our customer special. And we showed them both customer specials that were offered. And we explained how every month we have different customer specials um, and shared what those customer specials were. So then we played our fourth round of bingo. And um, after that, we let them know we were going to be doing a drawing for our raffle and that everyone was still free to have food, sit down and chit chat and have a good time. And if they decided that they wanted to shop with us, that they could then fill out their order forms and shop with us. 
And I will tell you, um, this is again, like I said, our first ever event. Um, we had about 15 to 20 people there. And what I can tell you is that um, while we didn't have a lot of shopping going on, I'll be very honest with that, um, we didn't, but the relationships that were happening there were amazing. The support for that family was amazing. Um, we raised hundreds of dollars for this family, which was often through, um, you know, people buying tickets and coming, people buying the extra cards, people buying raffle tickets. Um, that was super fun to see how people turned out and then how we had people joining our team from it because we met them where they needed to be. These women needed some girl time. They needed a little bit of income. And this kind of an event was perfect for that. And it was a very no pressure event, which was awesome. Um, so I just wanted to share with you how we did that. I can't wait to do another one and have some more results to share. Um, but you have a great day. Oh, Batman's behind us. Say hi, Batman. No, he doesn't want to. All right. Have a great day.